It is the destination the Terps lacrosse teams sought since season's start. It's the destination the Terps are used to. We didn't come this far to come this far. Um, you know, we came to, you know, hopefully get a win on Saturday and keep that thing rolling. Our message to them too is just enjoy this. You know, you're going to walk on the field and enjoy it. Know you're meant to be there. Enjoy your surroundings and, and celebrate yourself and what you've done so far. And then let's band together, take a deep breath, and let's get down to business. Both the men and women of the University of Maryland are final four bound. The women heading to their 12th in 13 seasons. The men making it to the national semifinal for the seventh time in nine seasons. They've set the standard for not only women's across, but the entire sport. They've kind of set the bar there and the standard for us, so we got to kind of have to live up to them. It's so cool to be a part of. Um, and then hopefully, you know, we're all celebrating together at the end of this thing. To do that, the number two Terps women have to first get by number three Boston College on Friday at 5.30. It's a matchup of the past two national champs going down at Hopkins Homewood Field in Baltimore. There is nothing like a um, women's across Final Four in the state of Maryland, and especially when Maryland's playing. As for the top-seeded, undefeated men, their quest to become the best college lacrosse team of all time continues on Saturday at 2.30 when they take on number five, Princeton, in East Hartford, Connecticut. They're the number one ground ball team in the country, right? That in itself is something that we got to make sure we focus on. The Terps are on pace to score an NCAA record 18 and a half goals per game. I love you guys in Jackson, let's just play a little smart. They've won by an average of 9.31 goals this season and topped the Tigers 15 to 10 three months ago. In College Park, Sean Stepner, WMAR2 News.